everyone, me Mudahar, and welcome to another episode of Deep Web Browsing. Can you believe we've gotten this far? We've seen government secrets, hitman websites and forums, and god knows what. And today, we're gonna sit back, relax, and enjoy Deep Web Browsing again, as we do every week on Sundays. And who knows what we'll find this time. Again, uh, I have a repository of Deep Web links to look through. Um, some of them are questionable, some of them are, you know, your standard average stuff, but... Other than that, um, without holding, you know, too much, let's, uh, sit back, relax, and <laughs> explore the deep web! Alright, so the first site we actually have here is the GBLT Thool Society, which is apparently a gay satanic community. Now, it is the GBLT Thool Society, back to Iden, what, by the way, we'll have to click on that link. If you Google, like, on Amia.fi, which is one of the main, like, search engines on the deep web, you actually come, if you type in the word Satan, literally, you'll come across a GBLT Thool Society, which, you know, uh, we're actually gonna go click around and see what's going on. So, as you can see, the updates are from 9.04.13, which means it isn't that, you know, updated. Or maybe this might be an archive. I don't know what, but as you can see, I've, pro I've clicked on sermon stuff, but I haven't clicked anywhere further. There are sermons, exposing Christianity, knowing the enemy, articles, links, and of course the gay community e-group. We're actually going to click on sermons. So over here we have High Priest Jake Carlson, Reverend Mason 666 and the Satanic Gay Community Members. So I'm actually going to see what Carlson is all about. And I don't know if this has a scream or not. I have no fucking clue, but we're going to have to see... And maybe I should, like, highlight, like, all the other ones, by the way, like, every single person. In fact, you know, I'm going to go ahead back and just see on, like, the exposing Christianity side of things. Um, oh, here we go. Reverend. Oh, man, dude, look at that. Adolf Hitler, Man of Peace. Holy shit. Illumination on the Illuminati. Now, these titles take a lot of time to work up. The New Atlantis. Morality, Sexuality, and You. What is this? Of men, gods, and morality. Holy shit, these got Marxism. The modern point, man, there is a, there is a lot of fucking stuff here, man. Shit. Oh, here's one right here. 2000, holy fuck, these guys are like really fucking crazy, man. They're on the expose. When you have a, when you have a link that says Adolf Hitler, man of peace, I mean, <laughs> let's be honest here, I, you automatically kind of get discounted on the whole, you know, credibility. But, you know, I'm going to give you a little thing. Let's click on the new Atlantis watch. It's probably going to be about, like, fucking, you know, Bioshock Infinite or some bullshit. Wow, these are, like, these are literally, like, the most, like, Illuminati titles ever. I feel like I'm going to have, like, a fucking, you know, I'm already on a watch list. I, I fucking know that. What is this? Exposing Christianity. Because of being steeped in believing in and living a lie in the advanced stages of Christianity. Holy shit, man. Apparently a well-known pasty look with the smiley mask. What is this? Manhunt? One? Son of a bitch, dude. The stolen year. Uh, what is this? Is it destroying your life? They're, holy hell. By the way, uh, anybody religious in the video, don't get offended. This is just, you know, somebody's site. This does not represent the views of anybody other than these, like, fucking, you know, fedora-wearing people or something. I don't mean to use that as an offensive term. I am myself own two, well, three fedoras. What is this? Concerning the powers of the mass mind, the power is a unif... What, is, what the fuck is this, dude? This is like some New World Order shit. Jehovah and the human blood sacrifice. I think, I think we hit some, holy, I love how they have, like, red text, too, just to, like, signify, yeah, we're satanic, mm. holy fuck, T-L-D-R, man, T-L-D-R, what is this, we must bear in mind, holy shit, these guys really did their fucking homework, did they not, then again, I ain't no fucking religious leader, I have no idea what the hell is going on here. It's funny, they have, like, nothing related to, like, angels. The ugly truth about enemy alien be- Oh, man, are we gonna get some a Mouse here? Holy shit, we're gonna get some fucking a Mouse. Alright, angelic entities seem to follow the same pattern in dealing with people, known by different names, watchers, guardians, and gatekeepers. The true nature is to keep humanity from progressing in any way, especially in the area of spiritual power or knowledge. They are like guards in a concentration camp. The Watchtowers. Angels- are human hating extraterrestrials and they're oh my god oh my god oh god i'm cringing reading this angels are human hating ex <laughs> they're human hating halo mouse man it's like we're in the fucking matrix 
Those who are with, without, and delve into the occult a little too deeply will often meet with unpleasant experiences. Again, fear is often used as a means of control. Eh, I can get behind. One way or another, those who are without are often deceived into relationships with angels. Well, of course there are variations, but here's what to look for. Oh boy, here we go. We got a list of shit to look for. The angelic entity intrudes. Most often the creature is uninvited and takes it upon itself to barge in on someone's psyche totally uninvited. It's not like any fucking thought, you know, that just, whatever. The entity uses love to lower the victim's defenses. This is done deliberately and masks the entity's true intentions. The victims, human beings, uh, feels the love, feels the love, and is deceived into believing this is a positive visitor. Gee, if anybody treats you with them, whatever. The entity never explains much or gives the victims any valuable knowledge. Most questions are not answered. If they are, they're in riddles or nonsense. Any information given is either incorrect or incomplete. Often the entity will make a statement that is coming to warn the victim or humanity of erring ways. This many times has to do with anything. Uh, the entity in many cases delivers negative prophecy. Most often this predicts personal ruin, disaster for the victim, blah, blah, blah. The entity in many... This sounds like some fucking weird-ass demon shit, dude. Acts as a healer when channeled. As usual, no knowledge of any value is given, and the healer as well as a patient remains cripples and are helpless without the entity's assistant, making them slaves. Son of a bitch, man. Holy fuck, these guys. They have way too much... Oh, they have a YouTube channel? Oh, God forbid, man. I need to see this shit. Oh, man, dude. It's gonna be great. I know the truth, 88. <laughs> the fucking name, dude. Video links exposing help spread the truth. Download while well, I'm already spreading your truth somewhere out here. Don't worry about that. Oh man, dude. What is this shit? The stolen year? What? What the fuck? Oh dude, this is the fucking thing, man. Dude, it literally is the Fedora side of things. Holy shit. Holy fuck, these guys are like the watch list level stuff, man. Powerful Nazis? Oh dude, these guys are awful, man. Dude, how the hell is anyone taking this shit seriously? You guys are nazis. Get out of here. What the fuck, man? What am I on? I want some crazy ass shit, dude. I want to get shot down somewhere, man. This is not good. It's not good for my health, man. I feel like I'm going to get shot somewhere. What is this? Know your enemy? Oh boy, I can't wait to see this. I can't fucking wait to see my enemy, dude. Knowing my enemy is probably going to be Bootman Bill's brother, man. Right Man Jones. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, dude. It's like, what, 12 o'clock? <laughs> what the fuck am I reading, man? No, okay, it's apparently not. What is the article? Let me see the gay community e-group side of things. Yeah, I don't even... Oh, it's a Yahoo group, man. When was the last time you ever been on one of those, huh? Apparently it's got 1,178 members. Satan the father, the creator... Oh, shit. We know Satan and his demons. If you are... Levain, what is it, or feel otherwise, do not push, ooh, shit, blasphemy against Satan or his demons will not be tolerated, oh man, enemies of Satan's, oh shit, dude, well, <laughs> oh fuck, man, please be polite, well, I'm not even gonna go fuck with these guys, dude, they seem like gonna cause some fucking shit on me, that's for damn sure, I'm just gonna back out of this one right here, that's, uh, Oh, the real concentration camps? Gay in the gulag. Sounds like a porno to me. What? <laughs> Dude, I don't even know why I'm here. What the fuck? This is, this is really dark shit. This is like really, really dark shit. It's like weird. That's the problem, man. It's fucking weird. I don't even know. What is, what is I, what the fuck, man? Where am I? Communists agree? I'm I'm back on the fuck out of here, dude. We're going to the next fucking site. This is too satanic for me, man. What the hell? Oh man, here is the uh here's another hacker group. This is the SWAT team. Welcome to the official Southwest Anarchy Team Freenet site. This is the almost static Freenet site of the SWAT team. During our underground history, the system has tried to censor our publications or censor our voice. Maybe it's because we know how to blow shit up. Maybe it's because we know how to hack into shit. Or maybe it's because we're capable of bringing both systems to their knees. We're not quite sure. But this time on this page, let me just zoom in up real close because I can't read this shit. And on this page, we're unstoppable. No longer will our domains get hijacked and owned by the system. 
Well, that little fucker, Jerry at MercuryLink.net, DDoS is fucker's ISP for major kudos points. Holy shit, they are... These guys are not dicking around. In the meantime, feel free to browse our many, many text files that the group has produced over the years. Please make a note that a lot of these files, especially the ones about making things that go boom, were written for ent entertainment purposes. And following said instructions will likely end up in blowing yourself to pieces, or at the very least, Im Im oh wow, holy <laughs> shit, immolating you, really? <laughs> we have newly released files below. Alright, let's look down over here. So, first things is fiction, trial of error, fiction delivery, IBON, internet, own age, what? Making free calls via the net. I feel that's cool. Abusing Skype? Let's do that. A theoretical inside job. Kodak W820 Wi-Fi capable digital frame ownage. iPhone. Digital proper digital propaganda owning printers. Oh shit, let's click on that. Surviving police and oh man, that might be important. The relaunch and okay, wait, let's look at some of these things over here. What the fuck? Oh, they're loading up. It's apparently not an archive, so shit. Alright, what is this? Magazine download? Well, let's go to the magazine download side. Oh, shit, they are... Man, okay, you know what? Let's download, like, the recent magazine, actually. What is this? Online cookbook? Are we going to learn how to make some hacker pies? Oh, well, apparently I can't get their magazine either. Let me just go over to, like, some random publication, see if I get it from there. Probably not. Probably not. What is it? Contact Us? Or the Contact Us side? Oh, the Dr. Black Hat's advertising here, too. That's pretty cool. These guys have been established since 1998, so... Gotta have some legitimacy, don't they? Regardless, the SWAT team website isn't exactly the best of the best. So it's safe to say we should just... <coughs> back out of here and go to a different website. Alright, so... <laughs> these are a couple of the, uh... The text files I actually had on there. One was how to grab IPs with MS Words. These are the only ones that are open, by the way and how to change the world by lemming so we're actually going to read through uh some of these this is like how to grab ip addresses so people always ask me how to get someone's ip well as many of you may know you can do this through using icq or other programs or different methods as text will explain all right wow icq man that's that's really fucking old well first off you need to have ms word to wow i guarantee you this is not relevant at all whatsoever ms word 2000 holy shit I'm just going to stop it right there. Wow, this was made in 01, man. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder if this email is still active. Ash the Flash. That is such a classic email. I love it. All right, this is how to change the world. All right, let's, let's go through these. Don't take anything too seriously. The golden rule of life and a disclaimer for the rest of this list. Get connected to the internet. Try a search for some of the following keywords. Waco, Iran-Contra, Wounded Knee, My Lie... Cointel Pro, Bilderberg, Ruby Ridge, Echelon, and then deny this system is beyond reform. Subscribe to... Yeah, okay, whatever. Don't plug your shit in here. Listen to Rage again. Yeah, okay, once again. Another fuck. God damn it. But... B holy shit, it just plugs shit. Really? That's like three plugs in a row. Calm down. Don't donate to charity. Wow. Read. What you don't know might kill us all. <laughs> fuck, we're all just as fucking guilty. Never pay for software. Paying for software is absolutely unnecessary. You can save yourself a whole bunch of cash and deprive Bill Gates and CEO of even getting more, um, of get, of even more by getting software from binary news groups and FTP sites. You can do the same with movies. If you got a wow, wow, guess commit fucking stealing. That's nice. Um, request netiquette. Respect netiquette. <laughs> Don't troll. Put up stickers. <laughs> what the fuck? That's so stupid. Walk. Cars pollute the planet. Oh man. Fuck. Car's a fucking gas guzzler, man. Son of a bitch. Take drugs. I'm kidding. I'm straight edge. So I don't take any... Oh, wow, man. Honest mum. Well. Buy the cheapest stuff possible. Just buy... Okay, wait. So when pe ignore the people who tell you to boycott a particular product. Just buy the cheapest one available. This applies to everything. Keep the money you save and use it to buy a subscription to your favorite underground... Oh, my lord. Is this a fucking marketing ploy? Do your fair share of housework. At the same time, do not... Don't do more than your fair share. If your flatmate, partner, parents, or lousy sods, tell them. Oh, I mean, I live by myself, so fuck. Fill out your census form with lies. The census is an invasion of your privacy. Don't fill it out at all. I mean, it's not like it's illegal, is it? I mean, 
I haven't been given a census ever, really. <laughs> Start a website. You ain't nobody if you don't got your own dot com, baby. <laughs> I feel like this is some dude from the fifties, man. You ain't you ain't you ain't hot shit, kid, if you don't have your own website, your own dot com. <laughs> Fuck off, dude. <laughs> Read a variety of underground and overground media. Alright. Support the alternative media. Oh, this guy's edgy. Recycle. Well, I do recycle. Fight censorship. Woo! Ad busting. Vote at vote.co.uk. Well, what if I'm from the U.S.? I mean, you ever thought of that, you fucking ethnocentric bastard? Mix with a diverse bunch of people. Like Michael Moore says, revolutionaries shouldn't become a sect removed from the rest of society. How do you... Oh, man. Oh, fuck. Vote, don't vote. All right, fuck shit up. Pranks now more than ever. All right, sweet. Yeah, totally, because I'm still 14. Start or join an infinity group. Reclaim corporate space. Uh, what is this? You should abuse their facilities and drain their... Wow, thanks a lot, dude. I own corporate space. Thanks. Fuck off. Order books from AK Distribution. Yes, yes. Show us where you launder your money. Shop at independent retailers. Commit credit card fraud. Well, <laughs> commit credit card fraud. Really? Wow, that's great. Totally. Fuck your credit score up, man. Don't litter the planet. Respect your fellow humans. Don't treat people like shit. Don't let people disrespect you. Damn, go to meetings. Listen to... <laughs> you guys heard it right here, man. Eminem promotes this. Ignore anything George Ma... I don't even know who the fuck that is. Fight the power. Defend free speech. Fall in love. Blow shit up. Take part in a protest. Hack the planet! Get Linux. Well, learn a foreign language. Recycle books. Share files on the internet. Join a union. Have fun. Secure your computer. Start a band. Shout at TV. Wear slogany t-shirts. Answer newsgroup. Avoid tax. Well, <laughs> it's safe to say you shouldn't do anything this thing tells you to, ladies and gentlemen. Don't pay your TV license. TV license, what? Get a job. Quit your job. What? Get a job? Quit it? What the fuck kind of a step is that? Read 1984. I have. Become vegetarian. I like my meat. Don't eat junk food. Dodge bus fares. Get PGP. Alright. Uh, laugh at the Millennium Dome. Become famous. Alright. Uh, oh, it gives me insurance to protect you from being assassinated by the secret state. Okay, masturbate, boycott the World Bank, chat on IRC, learn news, I feel like this is a fucking joke now, feed the pigeons in Trafalgar Square, shoot up your, what? Oh my god, it's not support, what the fuck, kill yourselves, applies only to the heads of state and corporate CEO, this guy, holy shit, what? This is the most messed up shit I've ever seen, what the fuck? This is the weirdest fucking place, man. Well, fuck off, SWAT team. You guys can't change the world. Avoid taxes, man. You want me to get screwed? God. Okay, this is a really, really scary little text file I found out. It actually details how you can make a nuclear, I guess, a mini nuke or something like that. So apparently it says many people, I don't know if I'll fucking get busted for this. I, I, this is all for educational purposes. Don't ever, fu don't even do this. I'm telling you right now, don't fucking do any of this. Many people don't realize this, but most smoke detectors contain an artificially produced radioisotope, americium-241. Americium-241 is made in nuclear reactors and is a decay product of plutonium-241. This radioisotope can be used as a fissionable, mater fissionable material in a homemade nuclear warhead. What? Okay, wait. The key component is a small quantity of americium-241. Mary CM241, sorry, I can't fucking think. This element was discovered 50 years ago during the Manhattan Project. The first sample of americium was produced by bombarding plutonium with neutrons in a nuclear reactor at the University of Chicago. Okay, it emits alpha particles, gamma rays, and blah, 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 blah. Let's skip all the, let's skip all the shit. So it says, so do so at your own risk, meaning don't do it at all. Okay, so down to business. First of all, how can an average person afford to buy 2,000 smoke detectors? At about 20 bucks each, that would be about 40 grand. True. Let me give you a little secret. The half-life of americium-241 is 432 years. True. Old discarded smoke detectors work just as well as brand new ones. Still, getting 2,000 detectors may seem like a daunting task. So they went through a local dump. I found an average of 15 smoke detectors in the four hours that I spend there every week. 
I had never found less than five, and one memorable day I came home with almost 40. Once you have your smoke detectors, you need to separate the fissionable material from the plastic and metal of the detector. You will quickly get the hand of this, and it should not take you more than one or two minutes each. One word of caution here. Do not keep your americeum in one big container. Remember, a nuclear bomb is detonated by bringing enough fissionable material into close proximity within itself. To create a critical mass, I don't think you'll want to be keeping an unintentional critical mass in your sock drawer, so keep it in separate containers. And keep the containers well apart. When you have collected and separated your americeum 241, you'll be ready for your actual construction. First, you'll need to prepare the two masses of americeum so that each of these subcritical masses can be brought together rapidly into one supercritical mass which will sustain a runway nuclear chain reaction. The best shape for the critical mass is... What? Is this even possible? Use an epoxy. I use Elmer's non-toxic paste. Now we... Okay, you'll probably still get a blinding flash and searing heat, but no real explosive power. In other words, a dud. For your technical types, here's the formula for the power required, bringing these masses together. This works out to the explosive power about 1 20th of a stick of dynamite, or the power of one common M80. M80s are like giant firecrackers, and they are usually available around the 4th of July. They are not legal in most states, but if you have ever heard about those big explosions of distance on the 4th, you can bet if some kids have gotten a hold of some of these. What? Okay, look, if there's anybody who knows about this kind of shit, please let us know in the comments below if this is even possible. Because I don't think it is. I really don't think that shit's possible. That's fucking scary, man. We tech If that's true, we all technically learn how you could make a home... That's fucking scary. Oh, my lord. God. God damn it, this is fucking messed up. Oh, man, what is this shit? This is apparently the tale of the space mushroom. Now, aside from all the dark stuff we've looked at the deep web, it's nice to see when we come across some genuinely stupid stuff sometimes. So let me read some of the story over here, okay? Apparently, Torlock of N Nanub was running from the feds one cold space day. He sold drugs, you see. And to be specific, it was space dust. The hottest shit on the planet of Blaze. <laughs> drugs are bad, even the space aliens, so they must be stopped. At least that is what the government wants you to believe, both theirs and ours. While on the run, Torlak stepped into a small dinner, on diner I guess, on Rizorf, to get some chow. He ordered a half plate of SpaceX covered in Frank's Red Hot Sauce, yeah I'm pretty sure they have it in his face, with an extra large side order of hash browns and toast. Running from the Fed sure makes you hungry, so does blazing it. And he needed a man-sized dinner. The eggs were a bit runny for his taste, but he gulped them down anyways, after paying and convincing the waitress to give him head in the bathroom in lieu of her tip. He was on the merry way, unaware of the events that were about to unfold in the near future. He used his fake face to make it past the first intergalactic checkpoint, when he noticed a slight rumble in his third stomach. He figured it was his nerves, and paid it no attention. After rounding the horse Nubula, the rumble, he moved to his second stomach, and he felt severe sharp pain in his fourth. Space shits, he cried. Just what I need now. Fuck. Quickly, Torlak left the bridge and headed to his toilet. He flung open the door and parked his cheeks on the seat and he got ready to unleash a toxic dump the likes of which have never been seen in the galaxy. Right before he could pinch off the first loaf, he noticed a blinking light over the shit tank level indicator. Full and no time to empty, empty the shit tanks, I have to dump my load now. Torlak pulled his jeans back up and tried to hold off the flood of turd that was imminent. Desperately looking for somewhere to drop his load, he searched high and low for some kind of container. Under his seat, he found a six-month-old brown bag lunch he forgot to eat. Yellow and orange with fungus, no one would want to eat it, but the bag would work just fine for what Torlak had in his mind. Torlak dropped his pants and put the bag to his ass. With every pound that drained from his body, he felt a hundred times better. Ten pounds lighter and pain-free, Torlak was left with a problem on his hands. What to do with the huge bag of alien shit? Torlak dons his spacesuit and opens the main door to his cockpit. With the cold blackness of space exposed, he musters every memory of college baseball and throws the bag as hard as he can out the door. With good riddance, he closes the door and carries on his daring run from the cops. Torlak cuts west towards Slip Simplat, with his bag of shit makes no notice. But nothing but the rules of physics governing its voyage. It has no choice but to go straight, 
until something else happens on its way. That something just happened to be 30 light years later, and a planet called Betagon 7. Known for being the worst possible place to incubate life, the planet was left to weapons testing and a colony of Mormons that people got tired of <laughs> dealing with. No atmosphere proves difficult to any complex life form trying to take up residence on Betagon 7, but proves quite helpful to our bag of unpleasantness. It falls towards the planet in rapid descent and splatters on the ground, covering it in many square feet of brown sludgy goo, with a frozen sandwich in the middle. Slowly the sandwich melts and mixes with the goo. Spores from the fungus get their precious heat and light to begin and grow. Multiplying rapidly, they follow the instructions encoded in their DNA and organize. First a stem appears, then a bell. Then another shroom pops up and yet another. Over the next five days, a total of six shrooms manage to make it. To this day, they sit as a tribute to Torlock. His horribly undercooked breakfast and drugs. Remember, kids, not all drugs are bad. So if you happen to run across a nice fat rail of space dust, grab yourself a straw and snort that shit up. <laughs> Fucking give up. That was the best story I've ever read. Holy shit, hands down. <laughs> just just look at this. It's like the best image ever. It's like some shitty 3D rendering. <laughs> I, I hear, you know, this video... I don't care what content we see after this, just one segment or where I place it in editing, but this video is dedicated sorely to our beloved Torlak, the space outlaw running from the fucking space beds at Space Denny's, chewing down, taking space shits and throwing them on a planet to make a legacy mushroom. I mean, look at this shit. All right, so this is a uh, another Hitman site that I don't believe we actually went out to, but it's called Ultimate Solutions. Now, this person offers a discreet professional service of 10 years of military experience and a further 8 years working in the private sector. Well, he's a pretty, uh, he's a pretty experienced bastard. I have the experience available for you to hire to dispose of any unwanted people in your life, whether it is for an insurance payout to further your career or to get back at a cheating lover I can help. The hit can be made to look like an accident, a suicide, failed robbery, or a blatant assassination. With additional information and consultation, I can set up the job to frame a third party. I have a handful of specific exemption, exemptions that I uh, will not get involved in. So no minors under 16, no pregnant women, no members of government politicians, local or national, and no senior members of crime syndicates or families. Well, he's definitely covering his ass. Using a secure Tor-based pristine new email account, send me a message of interest at ultimatesolutions at mail to Tor.com. In this, please outline your requirements, general details of the target, such as age, location, occupation, and nothing specific at this stage. Any requirement for time frame and any special requests on how you would like the job completing, I will then reply to you from a unique email with a basic quotation and cost breakdown along with further instruction on what I require next and how to set up a secure encrypted email in order to send any additional information securely as well as anonymously. Further details of the job can be discussed privately through the anonymous emails. At no point, and this is a big, you know, it's in red, at no point do I want to know any details about you, your relationship to the target, or your circumstances. Payment will be made via Bitcoin, blah, blah, blah. 25% uh, deposit will be requested. So here's the cost, by the way. If you're just a regular normal person, it's 10 grand. Police officer prison guard is 17 grand, 17.5 grand. Company CEO important businessman is 20 grand. And judge, senior police officers and officials are 50 grand. And you get a 10% discount every time, you know, you uh, you get a, you, you order, not every time, but you get a 10% discount if, 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 you know, order from them again and again and again. And you get an additional 10% if the target is proven and is a registered pedophile. Well, it seems like, uh, you know, this hitman has some morals over here too. You know, he, uh, I mean, he's got to do work, right? <laughs> like... Fuck. You know, sometimes, like, I know these things for the most part are federal FBI honeypots, but, like, fuck, man. To think I'm on, if this is real, to think I'm on some Hitman's website right now, dude, that is messed up shit. Alright, so this is a weird sort of site. It's Maxima Culpa Virtual Confession. Here you can publicly confess your sins. Now, this is at least what I think. It's kind of like a... It's kind of like a FML kind of thing, you know, like fuck my life. Except over here, people are allegedly confessing to illegal acts or, you know, basic stuff. But uh, we're going to scroll down and see what we're talking about over here. Now, if you hit the hashtags over, you can see some like, you know, crime, sex and all that. So 
I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to hit crime for a second. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna hit that and I'm gonna stop this right here. Just so it loads up. In the meantime, we'll scroll down. Now, some of these are written in Russian, Spanish. Oh, here it is. Hi, my, my sin is that I can't love. With girls, I had many stories, but I've never been in love and I'm 25 now. With friends, it's the same. I haven't a really deep link with no one of them. All right, I don't, okay, what, what is this? I killed an evil man. I can't tell you what I did or where he is. I can tell you that it's all I can think about. And the weight of the world is on me. Death is an extremely powerful thing. I can't look at myself in the mirror. I have no energy. I can't speak to loved ones or be near them because I'm so dirty. I don't know who I am. What did I do? Now, anathema apparently is like the fucking, you know, mass, like, responder here, I guess you know what I mean. Like the mass, like, priest, I guess, over here. The mass, you know, father, or mother, whatever the fuck. So they write, you've done a terrible thing. This is a great evil. You have two choices. Surrender to the police. all your li Or number two, all your life to save the love and charity. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, dedicate all of your life to save lives and charity. Okay. Anathema to you. It will be removed when you surrender or to the police. Or when you will be saved. Or when you will save without... Man, Anathema. I don't know where you are, man. But fuck. Responding in the English language. Jesus. I'm a 14-year-old boy, and I want to... What the fuck? Forbid, and a fame to you. Sex with only 18 years, only after 18 years. To put that abstinence on, motherfucker. Oh, I love how, I love how like, the avatars are the robot devil from Futurama. Oh, yeah, no, that's, that's, uh, that makes it look totally fucking legit. Does this work if I write in Spanish? Yes. Uh, well, and they wrote, Tenia u novia relement... Okay, I'm not even gonna butcher the Spanish language. I've done that once this series. Uh, what the fuck? What am I looking at, dude? Come to the deep web just to see videos of torture, videos of killing, children being... Wow, what the fuck, dude? This guy's a sicko. Uh, maybe I should kill myself, but I don't know. If I could start my life, I would start killing from the beginning. You are confused confused, and in a place of salvation and light you walk into the darkness. Start your life from scratch. Become a volunteer in the... Dude, this is like the most, like, Dr. Phil level, like, advice you're given, man. I confess that I can't speak English. It is not a sin. The main thing is, the main thing that you wanted to develop themselves. I bless you to learn the language that you prefer, like, with you. Oh, miss, you should also... Wow. Hello. I can give you the domain, domain maximaculpa.info. Thank you, that changed the, my life for the better. Oh, wow. Okay. Jeez. Well... My god, what is this, brutality? What the fuck am I looking at? Well, apparently the pages aren't loading. Oh, wait, here we go. We're loading up stuff here. Oh, well. Oh, boy. Oh, no, these are, like, all brutality. Let's go to, like, the deadly sins kind of thing. Well, that one's written in Russian. I hate pedophiles. I hate people who touch children. I have a deep, deep hatred for them. Yet I feel drawn. I wouldn't... Is this truly a sinner? I'm like, wow, this guy's conflicted. I, well, I live in Brazil, and I'm only six, and I feel like killing them. Okay, all right. I was speeding in my car and accidentally ran over a cat. I feel, oh, what a poor cat. Oh, that's so fucking bad. What, what the fuck is this? Father, I have sinned. I literally exploded a fat guy. He was really, really annoying and kept on bullying me and other guys at school. Someday, I came into his house, shocked him with a taser that I've made, and put a bomb up in his ass? Then, boom, he was dead? I kill some drug dealers in my city sometimes. I think it is the right thing to do. Some nights I put my coat, pick my mega taser, my survival knife, and go to the streets looking for drug dealers. Always on the worst neighborhood where they are. I'm going out now for about three weeks and I killed six drug dealers. I'm right. I stole a gun store once. I didn't pick any gun, just black. I feel like they're writing this themselves. And then, oh, this person, that need penance, right? Oh, wait, that's the status, so they need something. Quit playing Grand Theft Auto or what you play there. Cut it out to explode, shoot, kill, hunt, mine, burn, and destroy. Tarantino movies do not look too. Too? Okay. Live calm and righteous life. After that, your sin will be forgiven. <laughs> I'm pretty sure when he stuck a bomb up a fat guy's asshole, <laughs> he's a little far for that, man. <laughs> like, like, don't you think? Oh, man. Some of these are just, like, dark. I don't even want to go here. In fact, I'm going to confess now, dude. I, I got to confess. Um, I'm 12, and what is this? I really do deeply repent. You know, if they see that, Bishop acquainted with your sin in, in the coming days, and now you can confess your other sin. 
you do yeah i do realize man if this is like an actual thing i feel like a dick for wasting their time but you know i guarantee they have a couple levels he's environment so what is light trespasses is it just like light sinning what am i looking at dude no that's this is fucking bad dude this is the worst i'm, I'm gonna back out of here man it's like i mean these confessions are fucking dark holy shit Okay, like our first uh, deep web video, we're actually stopping here at Cat Facts for this week. Um, we've experienced some pretty fucked up kind of stuff. Uh, we've seen some, um, we've seen a satanic community that apparently seems to know a lot and are secretly related to fucking Nazis for some fucking reason. Um, and then we came across some, uh, well, the tale of a space mushroom and our favorite space dealer running away from the space cops. And, well, we've even covered many things. It's been a sort of spread out kind of place. We even, we even made a confession, so to speak. Well, a joke one. But regardless, we've done a lot this week. Some of it was a little more intense than uh, last uh, the last couple episodes, too, even though we didn't go towards the government secrets. I mean, still, we you know we found out how to make a fucking nuclear warhead. But even then, um, cat fact-wise, before I end this, I'm going to look at a new cat fact, see what we can find over here. Apparently, the lightest cat on record is a blue-point Himalayan called Tinker Toy, who weighed 1 pound 6 ounces. Tinker Toy was 2.75 inches tall and 7.5 inches long. I'm pretty sure this is kind of the same fact we came across the first time, but I'm not going to confuse it. That was an anonymous cat fact, and this was a deep web video. And if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me what sites you want to come to uh, next time. Tell me how you feel. Tell me what you think of the series so far, and tell me how I can improve it. This is me, Mudahar, and, well, I... Or, you know, before I end this, by the way, too, tell me uh, how many people do want nostalgic web browsing. Tell me in the comments below, and then next week we'll start to switch. In the end, this is me, Mudahar, and I am out.